In section 1.3, we studied the commutative property of addition and the associative property of addition. Now it turns out that both of those properties also hold for multiplication. So, um, so remember the commutative property says that in the instance of multiplication, it doesn't matter what order I multiply in. All right, so 3 times 4, we know that that's 12 and 4 times 3 is also 12. So we can flip-flop the order of multiplication and we get the same product. The associative property of multiplication, um, remember, is just saying that if you have a set of three factors to multiply together, it doesn't matter whether you multiply the first two first and then the third, or the second and third and then the first. It doesn't matter at all. And so in this example here we've got 13 times 5 in parentheses then times 2 after that. And so we're being asked to rewrite this using the associative property and then of course simplify it. So starting off with what we already have 13 times 5 times 2 According to the associative property, that is equal to 13 times 5 times 2 in parentheses. And you can see why this is so useful. Because here I was going to have to take 13 times 5 and then multiply by 2. But here I get to take 5 times 2 first, which is an easier product to start off with. And not only that, because of the nice result of 10, multiplying 13 and my result is much easier because I know that when I'm multiplying by 10, I just take the number I have and add a zero to it. 